The purpose of this gathering Here's today, Schaefer. this festive gathering, I should say, is for the men of WASP to meet the astronauts, and now the astronauts meet the men of WASP. Now, to begin the festivities, we'll hear from our carrier division commander, the commander of the task group of Western Atlantic Recovery Forces, Admiral William and Leonard. Distinguished astronauts, lost people. Of course, it's a great pleasure to welcome the astronauts on board. Colonel Stafford and Commander Cernan have told me how happy they are to be aboard. But I tell you, we who've been out here waiting for them uh, have a good claim on being happy too. We're mighty glad to have them with us. Now, um, the astronauts will be leaving the ship rather quickly after the uh, festivities in the hangar bay here. But one of the things I did want to bring you up to date on is a small informal presentation that I made in the uh, cabin mess a few minutes ago to uh, Colonel Stafford. If you notice, he's wearing a small emblem on his right tunic, which uh, indicates uh, command at sea. It's the command at sea emblem. We felt it was appropriate for Colonel Stafford to be given this emblem. It is a sort of uh, token of our esteem also to indicate that we think he has certainly earned the right to show that he has commanded a craft at sea. This is the emblem that squadron commanders and ship commanders uh, earn when they command at sea. Colonel Stafford has earned it commanding Gemini 9 on the high seas, on the Atlantic, all by himself. Now I shall turn this over to Captain Hartley. That was Rear Admiral William Leonard, who was commander the next of we'll hear Division from our 14. Skipper, Command, uh, Captain Gordon E. Hartley. Admiral Leonard, Colonel Stafford, Commander Turner. I know all of you out there are uh, more interested in hearing from our <coughs> space guests than you are from me, so I'll make this uh, brief. I'm sure I speak uh, for all of the crew of WASP when I say that we and WASP are indeed honored to have uh, you gentlemen aboard today, particularly after that uh, astoundingly accurate splashdown. Uh, this visit today, almost to the day, uh, marks the WASP's first anniversary for uh, the introduction, our introduction into the Gemini program. Since uh, one uh, year ago tomorrow, they picked up their first, first spacecraft, Gemini 4. However, the most important thing we have here today, I believe, is that we have a re the first repeat performance. If you'll notice on this, uh, this arm, we have a hash mark. And in addition to that hash mark, uh, we've made a uh, notation on the ship's plaque that uh, I will give him to indicate that he's uh, a repeat performer. You know, we didn't know whether to put an oak leaf cluster or a star on this, so we just settled and uh, put a bar below it indicating a second award. Would you do us the honor of uh, accepting this as a token of our esteem? Captain Hartley presenting a ship's flag to Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Stafford. Commander Cernan, uh, I have no hash mark for you. Uh, 
since this is your first visit. But we are uh, indeed delighted to have you aboard, and uh, I hope that we may have a chance to add a, uh, a hash mark on your uh, ship's flight. Would you accept this as a token of our esteem and uh, in, in memory of the events of the day? Thank you very much. These plaques and the patches we managed to get uh, sewn on their uh, tunics make them uh, honorary members of the WASP crew. And I know these people out here would like to hear from uh, both of you uh, your personal uh, tale of your three days in space. Gentlemen, please. Thank you. Admiral Leonard, Captain Hartley, officers and men of the WASP. Believe me, it's really great to be back in the greatest ship of the Navy, in my opinion. It's real good. I am also very honored that all you people awarded me this hash mark for being on board the WASP twice. In fact, it was a really great feeling that when the parachute opened, right there was a